If pictures from Japan are making you think it's time to buy earthquake insurance, you will want to watch this. Teresa Lalonde tells us what to look for and figure out if it's worth it for you. No one wants to think of their family home in ruins. If it happened here, could you afford to rebuild? Only 33% of people across B.C. have earthquake insurance. It's higher in Vancouver and Victoria, but still only half the population. It actually is very expensive. I've got a couple of computers for what I'd pay in a year for insurance. I might as well just buy a new computer. I live in New Westminster. I'm not living in Richmond. If I live in Richmond, I might buy, might buy a earthquake insurance. Oh, I got it years ago. Not because of the Japanese earthquake. After Japan, there has been a spike in interest, people asking how much it would cost and what it would cover. There have been lots of phone calls, uh, people looking for uh, helpful hints as well as looking to purchase insurance. Earthquake insurance must be bought in addition to your basic home insurance. It costs anywhere from $50 for a renter to several thousand dollars a year for a homeowner. If you live in a condo or a townhouse, your Strata Corporation has earthquake insurance for the building, but it's up to you to get an earthquake rider for what's inside. The deductible is key. It's usually 5 to 15 percent of the replacement value of your home. The higher the deductible, the lower the cost of insurance. If you have a million dollar home, a 5% deductible is $50,000. So cracks in the um, chip rock, uh, pictures falling off the wall, you know, uh, doodads falling off shelves and things like that, that's not going to likely get picked up. The damage would have to be great for the insurance to kick in, so it's up to you to decide if it's worth it. Rates are set on the probability of an earthquake and the number of claims here and worldwide. Considering Japan's damage, there will likely be a ripple effect in our premiums here. Potentially they could go up. Teresa Lalonde, CBC News, Vancouver.